Hey, today I'm going to show you a cool site I found doing the same thing or doing the same technique I showed you in my last video. And I'll link it down below. But the point was how to find blue ocean opportunities in e-commerce. So how to find products or product categories or yeah, product niches for your e-commerce store that have a very low competition and a lot of searches. So yeah, but the overall idea was that I went to the content explorer and uh, I just typed in sofa or just typed in any keyword and I'm looking for collection pages. So looking for different e-commerce stores and then setting up some filter. So I'm looking for sites that have a DR or domain rating of uh, no more than 10. So super low authority sites. You can set it however uh, much you want it to be. I was just looking for the, the lowest or the weakest sites that I could find that have a lot of traffic, a lot of organic traffic coming to them. So obviously I'm looking for like at least 10,000 organic searches in the English language and so on. And I found many different things, many different sites and businesses. But uh, one thing that, that stuck out to me or one, one site that stuck out to me was this uh, Marrier that you what it was, and it's a furniture store and uh, they sell sofas and different ty types of uh, designer sofas. I don't think that they are producing them by themselves because uh, the website is super new and I've seen the same product sold elsewhere. Uh, so yeah, it's just an interesting case of uh, a super tiny site. They have only worked on it for less than a year. And if you look at the graph here, like this is, this is their uh, metrics with uh, uh, SEO metrics according to Ahrefs. So if you don't know about this, or if this is like a Chinese to you, don't worry about it. Unless you speak Chinese. But the, the DR, uh, the, this shows the domain rating. And yeah, this is just a 2.4, so a 2. And this is a scale from zero to 100. And the two just indicates that this website is super weak in terms of SEO. Like my, my own projects range between uh, 20 to uh, 30 or 40. And just to give you a ballpark, like you would need to invest at least 10,000 into building backlinks to get it to, at least 10,000 into SEO to get it to DR30 at least. So at least $10,000 of dedicated SEO efforts. So they haven't done that. Like I, I would estimate that their total investment into SEO is below $1,000. And regardless of that, they have been able to make over $150,000 in revenue per month with their organic traffic, with organic results. And so, yeah, and, if, if, and how I came to that number was like, I just looked at uh, how much total traffic they are getting. Like you see here with Ahrefs, I can see an estimation of how much total traffic they're getting. And 99.5% uh, of this traffic is going to their collection pages, so product pages. Uh, and this means that I can, like if I do my ranking teardowns analysis for them, they're in the furniture niche. And I look, almost all of the products cost more than, way more than $1,000. So I just uh, mark this as $1,000 as the average cost of the product. They're getting uh, 16,000 organic visitors to their site per month. So I just, just figured that some of them maybe go to their Maybe just search for their brand name or something. So I just uh, tried to be a bit more conservative and gave it 15,000. Although usually Ahrefs underestimates total traffic. And I, I know that the average e-commerce conversion rate is between 25 to 3%. So because it's furniture, it's more expensive. I've estimated the conversion rate to be 1%. So this translates to them making 150k, $150,000 a month in revenue from their organic traffic. This is just an approximate estimation. I'm, I'm guessing they're making more. But yeah, and, and also like if, if you look at, like if you've seen our other videos or my other videos on, on analyzing different niches, uh, this shows you the power of finding uh, the right niche or finding the right products to promote. Like even if you are in a competitive niche, you can still find some gaps in your niche for different types of products that like, let's say that you're selling protein powder. This has a lot of competition and it's a red ocean. I means there are so many competitors. It's really hard for you to compete. And by hard, I mean expensive. You can still find some, like if you do good SEO, good keyword research, you could find some subtopics though, let's say like best grass spread, vanilla flavored protein powder, for example, I would estimate it gets less researches, but yeah, you could, you could still find some gaps in your market where it would be, make more sense for you to put more effort towards rather than just trying to rank for protein powder, which is really expensive to do. So in their case, they have found a, uh, in furniture, yeah, it's a broad niche, but furniture also has a lot of subcategories and they have managed to find some subcategories. And they're really easy to rank in. And if you look at like their factors, like these are just some, like the five main uh, SEO factors. And I'm just scoring them on a score of one to five with one being uh, super weak. So they're doing a poor job or they haven't done much, if anything at all. 
and five being like they have maxed out on this part and it's really hard to beat them. Like, and so if it gives a green, if it gives a green, then it means that they are easy, or it's easy to beat them. And like the, the max total score we've seen was yeah in the supplement niche, where it gets swolly. They scored the twenty, but like if you look at this Marriott at US, like they have the the weakest score I've, I've seen among the websites I've analyzed, while they're still making a lot of money. And this is this again. This is the power of finding a good niche, and a good niche that doesn't have that much competition. And just to show you, again, like the way I found it was going through the looking for like, just you can do the same analysis. Like if you type in uh, a niche that you're interested in looking for, like if you already know a niche, or if, if you already have an established e-commerce store, and you're selling furniture, so a good thing to do is just add like some uh, general terms related to furniture. So I just typed in sofa. And I found, found them through here. So I found a page that they have a overall DR is a two. And this page is getting 5,000 uh, traffic. So I looked at like what other pages they have. And I saw that they have a total of 16,000 traffic. And I saw that they're ranking for Togo, Soho, Bubble Couch, for example. So this got me interested. And I opened up Bubble Couch. And I saw that, yeah, they have like this term has difficulty, ranking difficulty of a zero, according to HFs, and uh, gets around 10,000 searches per month in the United States. And it has an increasing amount of search volume. So this is a trending product category. And uh, yeah, if you look here, they're ranking number one and getting 3,000 uh, searches or 3,000 people per month to their site on average. And they have no backlinks, super low DR. You see here the, sec the, the site ranking on the second position has a DR of 72, which is way, way, way better. And uh, yeah, without any backlinks and not, not much SEO work, if any at all, they're still doing uh, a, a great job here and beating all others. And and then, then the, just to give you a quick overview, I don't want to spend too much of your time, how they're able to achieve that. It's, it's just, this niche is, just doesn't have that much competition because Merrier, the site we're analyzing, they have a specific dedicated category page for these types of bubble sofas. Why I'm talking about bubble sofas here is that the, this is the, uh, the product page that is getting the most traffic for them. Uh, so yeah, they have like five different types of products. They have a dedicated collection page, which is something I've talked about in the past. Like if you want to rank for a particular keyword, which is a category keyword, meaning that you could sell, that people are searching for a, like, a, like a specific type of product and you could have many products underneath that category, which is the case here, then it, it, it's best to have a category page, a dedicated category page. So yeah, instead of just trying to rank with one of the products, because the intent, if someone is searching for bubble sofas, they're looking for category pages. The intent is to find a category page, which then shows different products. And uh, this is what they have done. Uh, while the much stronger competitor here is ranking with a product, just, yeah, you see here, they have the product in the URL, so they are ranking only with a product, although they have backlinks, they have a high DR, but yeah, Marrier is still beating them. And, and also Marrier is ranking with a product page as well, here, just on the fourth position. But yeah, this also shows that the category page has, has more power. And again, like showing that the niche, another indication of this niche being, or this product type being super low competition is that if you look at here, like there's a stronger site, italianluxuryinteriors.com with a DR of 12 compared to two that Merrier has. So, and they also don't have any backlinks uh, and they have a collection page. So why are they ranking so low compared to Merrier? But if I open this page up, uh, I can see that they don't have basic uh, on page or basic collection page optimization here. So yeah, they have more products, which is great for them. And this is an advantage, but yeah, they don't have the main keyword anywhere here. They only have it part of the main keyword, which is bubble without the sofas or couches in the URL, which is great. But if you compare it to Merrier, they have the, they have a H1 here, bubble, which only also only partially includes the keyword, but here they have the bubble sofa mentioned that they have some content here as well. So this Google is looking for signal. Google is a math algorithm is looking for signals. And this page is sending the signals that Google is looking for while the others are not, the others are doing poor jobs. So this is just a super easy niche or super simple niche to, 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 to uh, rank with a new site. This is almost never the case. And then, yeah, this is just a quick example of how just doing the bare minimum here, just creating a dedicated collection page, just putting some basic optimization. So just main title and then some content around here. Also, usually in most cases, I recommend adding content beneath the products so that it doesn't interrupt the users that are trying to look for the exact actual products. They don't usually care about the text here. But, but yeah, like even just doing the basics, having like a dedicated collection page, having some uh, the, the title, obviously it would be better if you would have an optimized title here, meaning that you would include the main keyword here. 
uh, some content either here or down here and some products and that's it that might be enough depending on the niche so yeah the main point of the video is don't be don't be that lazy just spend some extra time to research your niche like if you're hunt, hunt, on the hunt for new products to add or if you're still deciding on which products to sell on your e-commerce store so yeah this is just a great example of someone doing a great job making a lot of money with basics and uh, yeah the main driving success driver for them is just that they have almost little to no competition at all so yeah and let me know if you have any questions i would add the video my, my last video about how to find these low-hanging fruit opportunities so in this case i was looking for sofas so the furniture niche we could do the same for all types of different niches and if you just want to start an e-commerce store and you have no idea what to look for or, or about like yeah, you have no niche uh, you haven't decided on the niche you can just uh, take this out and just look like this. just add this in the URL collections yeah you can find more of the details from the previous video and I'll, I'll also link it down below but yeah this will allow you to see uh, the low-hanging fruit opportunities in different niches so what are the sites that are super low DR so they have basic, basically little to no backlinks and they're still getting a lot of traffic then you just need to dig a little deeper and uh, and yeah you could you could find some 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 gold here you just have to dig uh, let me know if you have questions you can leave a comment down below or you can email me thank you and have a great day